Today on World Impact, I'm talking about the most impactful generation ever to live on planet Earth. Specifically today, we're talking about a new generation, a generation called Generation Z. Now in the United States, there are several generations that sociologists have identified. There's the greatest generation. These are people born before 1945. They were influenced by World War II. They were very much uh, the nuclear family in America, a time of wholesomeness in the United States. Then there's the baby boomers. I'm one of those. Uh, these are people born from 1945 to 1960. Uh, they were influenced by the Cold War with uh, the Soviet Union, with the assassination of JFK and the moon landing and even Woodstock and the sexual revolution of the 1960s. Then there's a group called Generation X. My son is part of that generation. Uh, these people experienced the end of the Cold War, the first PC, the Challenger explosion, latchkey children, and the wave of divorce that struck America during the 60s, 70s, and 80s. And then there's the millennial generation. We've heard a lot about millennials over the last few years. Uh, they were part of the new millennium, the Iraq war, social media came of age while they were growing up. Uh, they engaged themselves in video games and reality TV and all of those things that have happened over the last few decades. But then that brings us to the generation I want to speak about today. Now, sociologists have had many names for this generation that immediately follows the millennial generation. Uh, the one I think that works the best is Generation Z. As we talk about this new generation, we must understand some of the things that have influenced who they are. Remember, this is the generation that has lived during the time of the 9-11 terrorist attack and in a world that is filled with terrorism, school shootings, church shootings surrounding them in their everyday life. This is the generation that went through the economic downturn of 2007 and 2008, the generation that has lived when the iPhone was created, and the generation that has uh, come into a place of glo globalization or global focus, and a generation that has been immersed in technology. They are called digital natives because from the time they were born until now, they have been surrounded by technology. I want to talk about this generation today, but as I start, let's remember Ecclesiastes 1 and 4 says, generations come and generations go, but the earth remains forever. And an accident is said of David that he served God's purpose in his generation. God is a God of generations and is interested in this generation called Generation Z. Now let's think a little more about who these people are born after 1995 and who you're intersecting with in the world today. They're technologically advanced, they're industrious, they're entrepreneurial, they're globally connected, they're passionate about changing the world, pragmatic or practical, they're multiracial and accepting of everyone, and they are very individualistic. In a spiritual sense, in my opinion, as a college president, I believe that Generation Z is a no-frills generation. They want truth, they want clarity, they want purpose, authenticity, practical Christianity, and they long for purity and for God's presence. God is calling, I believe, for a new generation of spiritual priests who reclaim the priesthood of the believer, representing man before God and God before man. A generation that will intercede, that will go between, and that will worship God in a passionate, pure, and personal 